All right, welcome back to the Root BSD Technology ch Channel. Today we're doing something really cool. I'm going to showcase 4K video streaming and video games in OpenBSD, the ones that I couldn't do during screencasting because the frame rate, frame rate will just go down to like 2 FPS. So let's get started. We're going to start off with 4K video. We're going to use the Chromium browser, which is running Pledge and Unveil. So everything is security hardened, and we are running on an SSD. Eh, sometimes Chrome does this to me. I've been having issues with Chrome lately. Not, it's not unusable, but it has some bugs. There we go. Hello, Chrome. Alrighty, let's go to YouTube. I found a perfect video to, to demonstrate uh, just how how not how fluid this was. It was um, 8K video. I just, I just typed that. And there was like a leopard. Yeah, this one right here. This one's perfect. It's probably gonna start me over where I left off. No, no, no. Let's go back to the beginning. Let's see where let's see where you started off. Try to find some a little bit more movement in it, motion. There you go. Not bad, huh? For an old ThinkPad running OpenBSD, which used to be a pretty slow OS that had a lot of screen tearing, the browsers were pretty slow. They've come a long way. This device is only—it's just running an i5. Uh, I think it's a. Let's see here. Yeah, I only have two cores. It's a dual core, i5. And uh, integrated GPU and eight gigabytes of memory. And look at that. They've really, really, uh, performance has really come a long way. Yeah, <laughs> look at those little guys. Get them. Nature is metal, you know that? It's pretty cool. I love nature. If you don't love nature, something's wrong with you. <laughs> in my opinion. You need to get out more and get some fresh air. I used to work with horses too. I know how to ride horses. I was pretty good at it. The trainer that I was working with, she wanted to train me to do some kind of some kind of horse sport called Western Pleasure where you ride the horse through an obstacle course. Eh. I decided I wanted to move to another state and work. I didn't want to do that, so eh. Never happened. Well, I think uh even though I'm not getting a lot of high motion shots, okay, I think you get the idea that we got t we got HD, you know, 1080p, which is for this size of screen is perfect. You don't really need anything higher for this size of screen. I just want to show you that it's it, it, it's 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 pretty smooth. I don't I don't really see any problems it's loading up pretty quickly. I'm I'm running off the Ethernet though, not off the Wi-Fi. That probably helps the situation. And this is streaming, you know, this isn't native. All right, so we're gonna pause this. So uh, as you can see, we do have 1080p. I'll show one more video. Maybe this has a little bit more motion in it. It's like watching TV, right? Who would have thunk? OpenBSD, the server OS that was slow four years ago. So you know why? It's because the developers, they daily drive these machines. They believe in the project and they use, and you know, when you daily drive a machine and you're a really good developer, 
you're gonna get a little annoyed if it's not, you know, if it's not up to your standards, you know, like, you're gonna have certain expectations out of it. I mean, this computer is a cheap old computer. This thing costs $250, and I've had it for almost a year now. Thinkpads are just fantastic, they're great on a budget, and they're very, they have great performance. I highly recommend them. As you can see here, uh, whether it be nature or New York, look at that. And we're running a full screen, and it, everything just runs perfectly. No, uh, not perfectly. I mean, it, every once in a while things get wonky. Not that bad. All right, so let's try um, showcase uh, some gaming. Actually, first, also, I want to show you guys uh, Clementine. I never got to show you the. Um, Visualizations, they're pretty fun. I'll just find a random song here. Um, there we go. Oh, why that one was so quiet in the beginning. Ah, here, here we go. Here's Elements by Medicine. I featured him the other day on this channel. Maybe just right click on this. There we go. I think this is the... Yeah, we got the super high frame rate. High quality. Not bad, huh? I mean, I feel like as it's growing up, all my Windows PCs, they, they pretty much had all the same stuff, but not as good and customizable as this. And on top of that, this is all free and open source. This is Clementine, man. Pretty, pretty good program. And this visualizer, this like, I've seen endless patterns. I've, I'm always seeing something new every time I turn this on. Pretty rad. And then what we can do, jump over to a new workspace. Let's run a video game. I just installed this. Let's see how it runs. There we go. That's better. Root BSD. No, I don't want telemetry. Go away. Alright, let's just do a instant action. I want instant action. Well, I'm gonna be embarrassed if this is a clunky nightmare. Usually this game runs pretty smooth though. Granted, I'm using a mouse on my lap, so it's not the best. What is this? Is this? A, oh, it's a key. You're fight, fighting for keys. Oh, DT would be proud of me. Ah. See, I could, I could play. Ah, oh, dang it! Let's not blow myself. I can play with DT. Easy. Myself. I hate that grenade launcher weapon. It's so I feel like it's kind of useless. It doesn't do anything. Is that another stinking grenade launcher? Yes. Why is there only grenade launchers? Oh, there we go. The machine gun. Yeah. Is this the newer version where they fixed the uh, sprite? Yeah, yeah, they did. Okay, cool. The old one was kind of lame looking. 
Look kind of like, give me the greedy or something. Like, shoot random bots. I guess I'm just supposed to shoot the guy with the key and get all the keys. I can be, are you the key master? I am Zoom. Alright, well anyways, so yeah, video games were whatever, but... but or, I mean, I'm sorry, 3D games. There's some other good 3D games too. Uh, I was trying to run Open Morrowind. For some reason though, when you run Open Morrowind, the sky looks kind of wonky. They, the sky is not working properly, but I'll, we'll just run it real quick just to show you. Yeah, not the best frame rate on this one. See, I told you the sky looks weird. Like, it looks blackened out. I don't know, it's strange. But the game, the game's playable. Like, you can talk, you can do everything in the game that's normal. What Why have you just done? Well, you know, because I'm just here to, I don't know, look for things. Why are you blue? I'm leaving. Yeah, you can tell it's kind of slow. On. I haven't got all day Kinda of disappointed. You just need I need to I need to run this on a PC. His laptop just kind of struggles with this. Maybe it probably wouldn't in, in uh, Linux or Windows. But... So maybe sorry to disappoint guys. This laptop's just not strong enough to have like the best frame rates of Marwood. I mean I could probably potato out the graphics a little bit. So I mean it's playable. I mean if you really just had a hankering to play some Marwood on an old laptop with OpenBSD, you could do it. We could probably bring some of the settings down. I think I have some water reflection settings and stuff turned on still. Like if I fresh if I turned off water reflections. Uh, where is that? Yeah, water. Oh. Let's turn the water shader off. Yeah, that, that helps. That actually helps a lot. Wow, this is way more. Wow, that's like nine day. Yeah, I just turned that water shader off. Yeah, the game looks kind of ugly, but you can still play the game and have fun and you know, play it, do all the quests and lore and stuff, so, you know, I, I mean, I know the first level, I'm sorry, the first kind of quest you do in this game is you gotta watch this little dude from this tower, He's he stashes gold and you gotta take his gold, this little, little elf guy. You just go to this tower. Yeah, not bad. Hello. I rule you all. I wonder if I can do a... Is that, no. There's a way that you can look at your character. I forget what it is. T? No, not T. You know, fun fact, this engine right here that you're looking at is basically the, was the foundation, the, the, the base of the Fallout games engines. All the Fallout games you've ever loved, they are using code from this engine right here. Okay. Then I go, Wee! and I jump to my neck. Ow. <laughs> Alright. See, this is just a showcase, just showing you what this is capable of. And last but not least, we'll play some Axiom Verge. I actually own this game. This is a Windows game. I told you guys that you can play a Windows game on here. You know, several. This is one of them. So we go down to games. And then Axiom Verge. Uh, one thing I don't like is just there's no space in between my icons there. I need to do something about that. Ah, I'm trying to right click here. There we go. Open terminal here. There. So you just go into the folder of your game. And you type F and AFI. Now I've already set this up so it already has this shell script that it made to run the game. And basically what it's doing is it F and AFI is a corn shell script that is using the F and A library to translate X and A over to F and A. And it's using mono. So I don't tech I mean I'm, I don't claim to technically know how that works, I just know those are the elements. Mono, F and A, and the corn shell script called F and AFI or Fani I call it Fanaify easier to say it that way. 
This is a game that you can get on Steam. This is actually this one is the collector's edition that um you can I actually own a physical copy of, which is kind of rare these days to own physical copies of, of Steam games, but you can get collector's edition copies. And what's funny is that this is kind of an outdated version, and uh, upstream uh, uh, F, what was it upstream was it F and A or no it was some other kind of element of the video game upstream broke this old collector's edition and I contacted the developers of FNA and FNIFI and they fixed it for me. And it was so nice, they didn't even have to do it, they just did it. I mean, it was really cool of them. And I learned how to patch, patch uh, code. So I'm also, if you're kind of wondering I'm, why I'm kind of walking around like an idiot, I'm kind of watching myself do this through the phone as I'm recording it. I'm looking at this teeny tiny, instead of actually looking at the actual screens, I have to look around the phone. <laughs> This isn't the funnest thing to do. But yeah, so this is Fanatify, and uh, the developer of this software that helps that's helping to run this game, he uh, he has a YouTube channel and he plays uh, uh, video games at OpenBSD, and I'll link his channel. His name is Thomas. He's a pretty cool guy, really friendly. Anytime I've ever reached out to him, he's always like gone above and beyond to like help me out or talk to me like. Like, most people aren't like that. You know, most people are, are too busy. <laughs> but not Thomas, man. Thomas will, like... If he, if he has it within his power to help you, he will. Alright. I like this style of game, this Metroidvania. They need to keep this going, man. Like, I really haven't seen any other games that were kind of like uh, Axiom Verge. Shout out to Thomas Happ. I believe that's the creator of the game, Thomas Happ. This is an excellent game. I uh, I came close to beating this game a long time ago, and I'd like to get that close again. It gets really, really cool towards the end. It gets hard. It's really challenging, too. Platformers, right? But uh, I'm, I grew up on the Super Nintendo, so for me, this really hits a sweet spot. And I always wanted to play this game on OpenBSD. Actually, I've invested some serious time into making into making this, making sure that I could always play this game on OpenBSD. I went as far as like, you know, filing bug reports when this game stopped working. <laughs> Everything. Uh, I had to learn how to use the, the patch program and patch some source code. And then eventually, he just fixed it and and the, the fix the patches in 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 the regular repo now. So I don't even have to patch it anymore. I wouldn't mind doing it over again, though, because I, I really kind of look, need a refresher in that. I did it, like, six months ago. Sometimes if you hit that thing in the right way, it'll give you tons of life, but not today. Another thing about this, this game is it has a fantastic uh, soundtrack. I love the soundtrack. Alright, well, anyways, that's Axiom Verge. So that's uh, 1080p streaming and video games and OpenBSD, and I hope you enjoyed that. Have a great day. Bye.